It says recording will start soon. I believe we are recording now. I believe we are recording. I see a recording button. Okay, so this is day two of distance learning. If you missed yesterday, all right, you should have logged in and seen something like this or similar to this. These were the instructions for the day. You'll be able to find a um, similar deal to this on Schoology because everything that I do is going to be on Schoology. I think it's more efficient for us to all log on to Schoology in the morning at 10 o'clock and you guys can watch the YouTube clip of me explaining all this stuff that I expect you to do for that day. Um, and the one for today is a minute and a half, all right? One minute and a half. So right now it is 10.03. So this is double the time it would have taken if we would have just logged on to Schoology. And that's okay. We're still learning on this first day, okay? But if you were gone yesterday, I want you to make sure that you watch that rundown video that goes through the whole week. Some of you guys did assignments for this entire week. That's cool. Um, review the agenda. That's going to tell you what the next four weeks look like. Um, I want you to review the syllabus just because then you guys know what I'm expecting out of you. You need to take the day one quiz as well. All right? It should be the very last thing at the bottom of the Schoology page that you guys see. Make sure you take that, turn it in, because that's how I am taking attendance. All right, and on any quiz or any survey that I give you guys, please put your heart and soul into this. I know this won't take you long. Um, typically, we would be in class for 50 minutes. For online, for distance learning, I don't think it takes that much. You guys could probably whip through this in about 10. All right, same with today. You'll be able to probably be done here with Woods for your morning um, in the next 15 minutes, I would imagine. Okay, so first thing, if you were gone yesterday, if you didn't do this stuff, get this stuff done. Today, what I want y'all to do is to log into school, Schoology, Woods 2, all right? Um, eventually, I'll edit this picture. I apologize. I haven't done that yet. That's kind of the default. All right, yours might look different, but we got Woods 2, um, period 1, period 2. All right, the first thing I want you to do is click on this 331 instructions, all right? Sometimes it'll link you directly to YouTube. If it doesn't and you get this little frowny face, I want you to scroll up and click on 331 instructions. You'll click on that, then it'll get you to YouTube. Yesterday it worked perfect, but for today, for whatever reason, sometimes it doesn't start exactly yeah, at zero. Me a little bit. So you'll have to back it up to zero so you don't miss anything that I've said. Um, All righty, folks. So right off the bat, we're going to do a survey. and it just So that is going to be what I expect you guys to do today. All right. Um, it's a minute and 25, just like I said. All right. So this this isn't, um, you know, a great, big, grandiose lecture of the 30 years of war or anything. OK. And that's my goal is to have this down within at least five minutes each day. Someday it will. Some days will be more intensive than others. But um, today, week one, we're still kind of getting down the basics. Um, so this survey shouldn't take you long, but I do want you to take it seriously, okay? So if we go back to our Schoology page, all right, and we go back into our materials, 331, March 31st, getting to know you slash distance learning, all right? On Schoology, I'm going to put the date for everything um, that I expect to be done that day. All right, I didn't do it yesterday, but this is what I kind of hear all the cool teachers are doing, so that's what I'm going to do. Same thing here. All right, I clicked on it. I got the frowny face. So I am going to come up here and click on this survey. Now I'm going to kind of see what works better for this distance learning, Google Forms or quizzes right out of Schoology. Um, we'll see, all right? But I know you guys have both done each, so you can kind of give me your opinion um, tomorrow and holy moly I've got 38 completed already you guys are doing very well awesome all right and I'm just asking you basic questions this is a lot like that getting to know you form that I give out um, week one that you might have remember doing in what's what's one all right what makes you unique what are you involved in what do you like what are your experiences um, then down here I have some some um, distance learning specific questions I want you to answer like what kind of tools do you have access to at home or at someone that you regularly see a relative or friend or properly socially distanced. Okay, what kind of safety concerns do you have? You know, maybe it's not a 
saw stop table saw, all right? Or maybe it's not even a table saw. Maybe it's a jigsaw and you've never used that. Okay, tell me your concerns. Um, what type of materials you have access to? Um, I would I would really like some thought put into this question here. Um, uh, let's back it up. Come on now. If I click on you. All right. So this question right here. With these tools and materials, what would you like to build realistically? I want five ideas here, okay? Five ideas of what you want to build. I've already taken the last two weeks. I spent some time kind of doing some limited tool assignments, um, some little shelves, some um, gardeny stuff, some birdhouse kind of ideas. Um, give me what you guys want to build because sadly we're not going to build the rocking chairs that we planned on building this year. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to do something else, and I'll still. Draw back on this form if we go into, um, like, if we come back to school in May. You know, this is going to give me a good baseline of what you guys actually want to build. It can be kind of cool, especially if you're building stuff like that. Um, what are your thoughts about watching YouTube clips? I mean, maybe um, we do watch the video series on building a rocking chair that I've shot already. And then when the time comes for Woods 3, you're all ready to go. You know exactly what to do with that rocking chair. You know, some just some ideas. Um, we're all, also going to look into some drawing programs like SketchUp, Autodesk, SolidWorks, Adobe. You know, what is your experience with those? And would you enjoy them? I mean, honestly, you signed up for a hands-on class, and sadly, this is, for at least this next month, all going to be done online, the majority of it anyway. Um... And truthfully, carpentry can mean a lot of things. It can it can mean concrete work. It can mean um, masonry. It can mean um, some kind of home project. So, you know, if you're interested in HVAC or if you're interested in plumbing, you know, we can do some little lessons on that. That might be kind of cool just because you're stuck in your home anyway. You know, maybe go down and, and look at your mom and dad's furnace and just see if that is on there. Okay, so that's... A long-winded version of me just explaining this to you I, I need this to be taken seriously okay for this class for you to get something out of this class you need to take um, very care of this survey okay we'll go back into our Schoology go back into materials and anything you see a well, March 31st 331 okay I'm gonna scroll down I no longer see and you guys can't see all this because it's unpublished, but you guys should have gotten this stuff yesterday, the agenda. Um, this is my Hangout link in case you ever lose it. Um, rundown, you should have watched that. You should have done that, and that's going to be for tomorrow. Okay, so since I've done those two things with 331 on them, I know that I am done for the day. I can log out. I can focus on math. I can focus on social studies. Um, and if you ever have questions, okay, if you have questions on anything, I am going to pride myself on being the best. Let me go back to our, just so I can see, oh, where are we? There's our meeting. And people are still there. Excellent. All right, I'm going to proud, pride myself on being the best teacher to respond to email this trimester, okay? It's on my cell phone. If you email me, I'll try and respond within a minute, okay? If it's the evening time and I'm out walking my dog and you email me, I will respond. I'll make that doggy stop. And I'll respond to your email, okay? I'll get to the other side of the road if I'm crossing a road, but that's um, that's what I will do. Um, let's do this. Um, we're still recording here, so just keep that in mind. Don't say anything silly. I don't want to have to record this again. But after all of that, does anyone have any questions? Feel free. If you have a question, turn your mic on and just um, politely um, shout it out. If I have Woods 3 next hour, is it going to be pretty much the same thing we just did? Um, for this first week, yes. So the question, in case the recording didn't get that, is if you're taking Woods 2 and Woods 3 this trimester. That is an awesome thing. Um, there will be a lot of overlap. Um, and I'm compiling a list of everyone who does, who is in that boat. Um, there will be more stuff in Woods 3, but it's not going to be a lot, all right? So maybe best thing to do is to just do both for the meantime until I figure it out at least. I mean, 
Um, some of you folks had Mr. Almost your freshman year, your sophomore year, and now you're taking this new Woods class online, and who's this new guy? And, you know, it's it'll take me some time to get to know you, especially because of the online component, but I'll do my best. Um so I would just recommend doing both. It might be a bummer, but you'll do it the second time around, and it'll be easy. Um, hopefully by next week, when we get into the um, when we get into the safety stuff, I'll have it down, so you can only go through the you only have to do the safety regimen once, and you don't have to kill yourself doing it twice. Because this go around, there are eight safety tests, and that would have been the same whether it were distance or not, just because. The advanced classes use advanced machines, and we've got some cool new machines um, since I've gotten here, so we got to learn how to use them safely. Good question. Any other questions? Any other questions? If you're asking a question, you need to make sure that your mic is unmuted. The best way to do that is Control-D. D for sound, obviously. Ah, obviously. Thank you, Logan. <laughs> it's not obvious to, to some of us. Troglodytes. Troglodyte is a word that uh, means you're not good with technology. It's a real word. Look it up. I can't. Cave people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't ask me how I know that. It just, and I'm kind of the king of useless information. Outside of woodworking, I think that is useful because I want to build a um, a compost bin. My wife has all of a sudden decided she's a gardener and needs all kinds of compost and all this sorts of stuff. So kind of a cool idea. There's actually a gap in my fence where a six-foot compost bin would fit perfect. So yeah, that's that. All right. If you don't have a question, you can... Um, you can get out of here, you can watch that video, and then you can take that survey, and then you're ready to uh, you're ready to be off on your way. We're out of here at 1045. We've been here for 15 minutes, so um, another 15 minutes. You guys are done, and you have, you know, a half hour till your next class. All righty, so um, I'll stick around. I'm going to turn the recording off, but if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.